It's time for the mix at six. Counting down the top hip hop and R and B songs in the country. The mix eighty eight point nine, Lynchburg's number one station for hip hop and R and B, soul and reggae. Shock the system. My good people, it's Friday. We did it. It's Friday. We made it to the end of the work week. Your week is over. We have reached 100% loading. We have reached 100% transfer complete. We have reached the finish line. We have reached the bottom of the mountain. It is time for the weekend. I am Kalil Creed. This is the Mix at Six. We are all here at Lynchburg's number one station for hip hop and R&B, soul and reggae, the Mix 88.9 for another hour of walking down this path of positivity on the way to the palace of positivity that we have cultivated together that is known as Vibe Club. As stated earlier, it is Friday, which only means one thing. Let's grow Fridays is going down tonight at Bull Daddy's Restaurant and Bar. We will be live. DJ Ben Jamming it. DJ Boswell on my back, a.k.a. DJ Bomb, will be in the building. And so will I. Spoiler alert. So will I. I will be providing the security for you fine folks. It's going to be very tight security, a very safe environment. So please come out and hang out with us. Come out, hang out with us, drama free. Come have a great time with the Mix 88.9 and Let's Grow Fridays. How's your day? How's your day been? How's everything going this evening? How is everything in general? I hope that it is phenomenal. I myself am in a fantastic mood, as always, not only for Let's Grow Friday just going on tonight, but because I work so hard during the week, as you do also, as you do also, we work so hard throughout the week that it's good when you can see a day of relaxing coming your way, a well-deserved day of relaxing coming your way and that's what i plan to do i got a little bit of editing to do this weekend but i'm pretty much done i'm pretty much done for the week and it feels good i'm gonna go to bull daddy's tonight i'm gonna have a good time with the people i am going to enjoy myself now i don't normally go out i don't normally go out but for y'all i'm there for y'all for my people i'm there I'm going to be there. That's a rarity. You should take advantage of it because I don't be out in people's clubs and all that stuff. So if it ain't got nothing to do, if it ain't got nothing to do with the Mix 88.9, I, uh, chances are I ain't there. Oh, unless I'm working. If I ain't making money, I'm definitely not spending money. I, I tell y'all that now. I ain't spending money in nobody club. I used to do all the drinking and the partying and all that stuff when I first went in the military. But I think I went too hard too fast because it got old to me quick. And I just stopped doing it. It stopped becoming interesting to me. It's very rare that I drink. And when I do drink, it's one or two drinks. Once I get, you know, your muscles get a little loose, I cut it off. I'm done. That's all I need. That's all I need. There's normally about one or two drinks, one or two vodka and cranberries, or vo- vodka is my is my drink, is my go to alcohol. Um, I like the flavored Ciroc's, the flavored Effins, um, things of that nature. Um, so that's those are my go to, but they're very rare. It's very rare that I drink, so I don't. You know, you ain't gonna see me out here like that. You know, it's just not something that I am interested in anymore. Now I know I've shared it before The last time I actually got drunk Like drunk drunk Like hangover Hangover type 
not knowing where I am, waking up hazy, crazy, drunk, drunk. I've shared that story before, but I don't have time to talk about it right now. Maybe I'll tell it on the other side of the the music break. Maybe I'll do that. I haven't decided. I might do that. Anyway, anyway, I might do that. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll tell that story on the other side of the music break. That's what I'll do. I've told it before on the show a long time ago, like when I first started doing this, but a lot of y'all haven't heard it. So I will share the last time that I got drunk. The kind of, it was kind of the end. It kind of tuned it out, you know, turned it off for me. Nobody got hurt or anything or nothing crazy happened. It was just how I felt. I was like, this is not the move. This is not how this is supposed to go. I am donezo. I am donezo with all of this. But we'll talk about that on the other side of the music break. Again, I am Kyle L. Creed. You are here. We are here at the Mix at Six. And we are also here at Lynchburg's number one station for hip hop and R&B soul and reggae the mix 88.9 and let's go ahead and hop into this countdown because that is why we are here that is why you are here and that is why i appreciate you so the number six song is SZA with i hate you and i'm gonna tell y'all this story on the other side of the break and you're listening to the mix at six i am kal creed and we are here at lynchburg's number one station for hip-hop and r&b soul and reggae the mix 88.9 and that was our number six song SZA with i hate you now before we went to break before we went to that last song i promised you all that i would tell you a story well i didn't promise you but same thing same thing if i tell you i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it the story of when the last time that I got drunk. Now, this was, let me see, 2000. Uh, I was in Montana. So this was 2004, three, four. Now, this is not to say that I haven't, I didn't drink alcohol anymore after that point. This is the last time that I got crazy drunk crazy drunk this is the last time that that happened well it was my going away party i was leaving montana i was going to turkey if i got that right yeah i was going to turkey the country yes the country um so they threw me a going away party so i had a going away party so it was over a friend's house i really don't know whose house it was i still don't remember i don't even think we ended up at the anyway i'm getting ahead of myself so we're at the party And everybody's having a good time You know, we're in a circle People are freestyling I don't know how to freestyle But I'm there I'm here for it I love being around people Who know how to do that Because that's a talent That I wish I had Anyway We're in the house And then somebody Comes up with the bright idea They have It was Jim Beam Jim Beam Was it Jim Beam? No No, no It was Jack Daniels That's what it was It was Jack Daniels And it was probably about half a bottle left, about half a bottle left of Jack Daniels, like the big bottles, like the party size bottles, about half a bottle left. And it was six of us standing there with the with the bottle. And somebody said, let's do shots. And they were like, well, since it's your going away party, you have to match shots with everybody until the bottle is gone now it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't a crazy amount left it was maybe a little bit under half so i don't want y'all to think that i drunk this crazy amount of alcohol but when you hit the rest of the story it'll it'll all make sense so it goes i take a shot someone takes a shot i take a shot someone else takes a shot i take a shot someone else so on and so forth until the bottle is gone now it's five of them and just me So I'm taking a shot for each of them and we're going back and forth until it's all done. So we finished the bottle, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, nothing happened, everything is all good for now. So I go through the rest of the party, we're just having a good time. It's a great occasion, it's a great occasion. I appreciate y'all throwing a going away party for me. I go to have a seat because, you know, I'm starting to feel it, but it's not, it hasn't hit me yet. You know what I'm saying? It hasn't it hasn't come full on yet. So I'm good so far. So someone comes up with the idea, let's go to uh, a bar. 
cool cool why not so everybody's getting ready to go i'm of course riding riding with someone because i'm responsible i have a plan you know what i'm saying i'm about to leave i'm not gonna get in trouble so i ride with somebody so i get up to go to the car and so i stand up and i start walking and then all of a sudden i say oh that's peculiar the floor is coming towards me how is that possible and then i'm out i go out i don't know what happened after that i go out everything goes dark i wake up i am in the back of someone's jeep someone's jeep and we're outside of a club or no bar i could not tell you where we were we were in montana i know every nook and cranny of great falls montana None of that looked familiar where we were at. I didn't know where I was at, but that was okay because I was with my boys, but they left me in the car because I'm that friend that passed out drunk. Okay, so I remember waking up, looking around, and then going back out. And then a little while, I, it could have been a little while, it could have been two hours. I don't know. But I wake back up again and I get out of the, the, the Jeep and go inside the club. Okay, somehow... I make it inside the club, no problems. I'm not a mean drunk, I'm not an a-hole, so I don't cause any problems. Now, getting inside the club to the table that I was apparently at is alleged. Well, no, it's not alleged. It happened because I woke up at a table. I don't know. I remember walking up to the door, and I remember sitting at a table or being at a table. Now I don't know how I got there I don't know how deep in the club it was I don't have any of that information It's all This is all like blackout spots I was, I'm blackout drunk I have never been this drunk a day in my life And I am not having a good time But I'm at this table And I go out again I'm, I black out again I go back I pass back out Again It could have been two hours Could have been three minutes I wake back up I need to get to a bathroom now Because Things are going to happen. Things are going to happen. Either they're going to happen on this table or they're going to happen in the bathroom. I would prefer they happen in the bathroom because that's just better. So I remember making it to the bathroom and then I vomited in the urinal. Now, not the toilet, the urinal. You guys know what I'm talking about. Now, I'm going to finish the rest of the story when we come back after this next song. But just remember, vomit in the urinal. I am Kyle L. Creed. This is The Mix of Six. We are here at Lynchburg's number one station for hip-hop and R&B, soul and reggae, The Mix, 88.9. And here is our number five song. Here is Doja Cat in The Weekend with you right. Remember, remember our marker, vomit in the, in the urinal. You know, we'll, we'll get back to it. And we are back for the mix at six. I am Cal L. Creed. We are all here at Lynchburg's number one station for hip hop and R and B, soul and reggae. The mix eighty eight point nine, and that was our number five song, Doja Cat and the Weekend, with you right. Now, getting back to our epic tale and where we left off with our hero. I'm me. I'm the hero. We left off with our hero. Our hero was in the bathroom throwing up in the urinal so that happened and i don't remember anything else after that next thing that i remember is i woke up in the back of a jeep it was it the same jeep i was in to begin with who knows who am i with who knows where am i at who knows all i know is that i'm in the back of someone's jeep I'm not tied up or anything, so that's a good sign, right? I mean, if you wake up tied up, I mean, that's not it's not ideal. It's not great, but I wasn't, so I was good. So we're at a house, someone else's house. Again, I have no idea where I'm at, but I wake up and I'm holding a Dr. Evil doll. And it was he was probably about 12 inches tall. It was I was just holding a Dr. Evil doll. I try to get out of the Jeep to go into the house that's a no-go i fall out of the jeep i'm like hanging my feet are in the jeep but the rest of of creed is outside of the jeep and that's not where you want to be on a dark montana property so 
I gather myself back together as best I could and I make my way back into the truck and I don't remember anything else. I remember waking up the next morning on my friend's couch back at the house, back where we were to begin with, back where the floor came towards my face. Still can't explain it. Did I fall over? I don't know. But I wake up and I'm hungover. This is the worst headache I have ever had in my life. I am throwing up every 10 minutes. I am in a bad, bad way. I don't even know where my car is. I, I drove to the house, to that house. I don't. Even, my car is not even there. I don't even know where my car is. So after going back and forth to the, the bathroom and laying on the couch for a little while, I get myself together and my friend that lives there, he took me to my my car, which was at a Hardee's. It was at a Hardee's. I don't even, I don't know how, I, I don't know. I can't explain it. I don't know how I got there, but it was at a Hardee's. And I know I didn't drive that night. There's no way I drove that night. It was it was no way I drove that night. They wouldn't have let me drive, and I. But it was no possible way that I was in any shape to operate any kind of motor vehicle. So that that I I don't even think that that even that's that's not even possible that that happened. But I am in a bad way, and I am driving back to the base because I lived on base and luckily I didn't have to go to work the next day so I got to get myself together and that is the last time that I got blackout drunk and I will never ever do it again since then I that's when I instituted the rule that I'm just gonna if I drink if I drink because for a while anything with alcohol in it made me sick like smelling it seeing it especially dark I don't that's why I don't drink dark liquor anymore because because of that that happened in 2003 2004 something like that and i am still traumatized i am still traumatized and i won't go back i won't do it again that's why it's not a it's not a big deal to me we used to go out every weekend and party but it got old but i said all of that to say this if you decide to go out this weekend make sure you have a plan Make sure you have a plan if you come to Let's Grow Fridays, which you should. But if you go anywhere else, make sure you have a plan. Make sure you have a designated driver. Make sure that you are in good condition to drive. If if you're drinking, don't drive. Have a plan. There's Uber. There's Lyft. There's friends. There are all the things. Don't jeopardize your future for a short-term decision. So have a plan. Have a good time. That's even if you want to go out. Maybe you just want to just stay in and have a good time. You can do that too. Stay in and recharge your batteries. But whatever you do, have a plan. That's my safety briefing. That was the that was the longest safety briefing I've ever given. I never put a story on the in between the you know in between the things. But I care. I want you back here on Monday. I don't want you here with charges. I don't want you here with pending cases or fines or tickets or or in the gotcha paper i do definitely don't want to be in the gotcha paper that's a that's a rough piece of business so have a plan have fun this weekend but have a plan but if you do decide to come to bull daddies tonight which all of you should be i don't even know what we're talking about there shouldn't be any other plans if you do decide to come to bull daddies tonight in appomattox virginia just know that ladies you are free before 10 don't come don't come don't walk up to the door at 10 o'clock trying to get in because you're gonna be looking crazy so but before 10 you can get in free okay I'm going to be working the door So I'm going to know if you're trying to run up in there Be like nah I told y'all I told you Get here before 10 Because there's probably a line There's probably going to be a line So just make sure you're not caught out You're not caught short Let's hop back into this countdown This is the Mix to 6 I am Cal L. Creed And we're going to get into our number 4 song Which is Young Blue featuring Kalani Beautiful Lies Here at Lynchburg's number 1 station for hip hop and R&B Soul and reggae The Mix 88.9 And you're listening to the Mix at 6 I am your host Cal L. Creed And we are here at Lynchburg's number one station for hip hop and R&B, soul and reggae, the mix, eighty-eight point nine, and that was our number four song, Young Blue and Kalani with Beautiful Lies. Now, this next thing is is kind of funny. 
uh, a woman's dad is in prison. That's not the funny part, but a woman's dad is in prison, and he's in prison with R. Kelly. And he called her from jail, and while she was on the phone with her dad, she asked R. Kelly to sing for her. And here's the audio from that. I wanted to ask you something. Can you sing a song for me? Love letter. Did you get my call? Did you get my call? When you read my love letter. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you. How often do y'all think that happens to him? How often do y'all think that he has to sing for people or people ask him to sing? They cut out the part where is at the end of it like he sighs, like he sighs um, because I don't know. I guess he hears this all the time. He hears people ask him to sing for them all the time. He better sing. He better sing. Shoot. I don't know what he gonna do. He better sing. But <laughs> so, but I know he's tired of it though. I know he's tired of it, but that was just funny to me that that somebody was on the phone with their dad and he's in there with R. Kelly and she asked him to sing and he actually did it. So good for him. Big shout out. Big shout out while I'm thinking about it to my homeboy, Brent. My whole boy, Brent. He listens. What's going on, Brent? What's up? He reminded me today that Atlanta dropped their first two episodes and I was disgusted with myself because I have forgotten all about it. So shout out to Brent for reminding me. I appreciate you, good brother. He's out in California. What? Or maybe he's not. Brent is the type of person who just on a whim will end up somewhere else. You think Brent is in one place and Brent is in a completely different a completely different equator or a whole different country. Where's Brent? Oh, Brent went to the moon. Oh, okay. That's just that's just that's just what he do. Brent Brent be on the move, and I respect it. He be traveling. One day I'm gonna get up with a man. I'm gonna travel somewhere together. But I appreciate you, Brent. I wanted to say that. I know you're listening, and I appreciate you looking out for your boy. Even though I don't think he was looking out for me, you was just showing that you was watching it. You know, it was that, that's a weird flex, but I respect it. I respect the flex. But I am gonna catch up on those episodes today because season three of Atlanta has dropped. The first two episodes are on Hulu, and you know I'm here for it. There's no question that I'm here for it. Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson was at a comedy show, and this guy came up to him and wanted to fight him. Now, I'm sure that he deals with this all the time. People want to fight him. I'm sure that wrestlers and MMA, I'm sure everybody who has anything to do with any sort of combat sports or in the combat world has to deal with this. But this guy walked up to him and said he wanted to fight Mike. Now, Mike isn't phased by this, so a security approaches the man bothering Mike. The man pulls out a gun, a whole gun. He pulls out a gun. Everybody backed up. Mike, still cool as a cucumber, doesn't move. Called the guy over with the gun, and Mike gave the guy a hug, and then the guy left. And that's the whole story. Mike Tyson is so unbothered by life. I'm sure Mike has seen some of the craziest things you can ever see as a person. And he's just unfazed by stuff like this. So stuff like this probably happens to him on a daily basis. Like if, if you cross paths with Mike Tyson, it's time to shut it down for that night. You know, stuff like this probably happens to him. All of the, Like he didn't even move. It didn't phase him. Wasn't a big deal. Guy has a gun. Comedy club. Whatevs. I respect it. I respect it. Wouldn't be me though. But anyway, congratulations. A congratulations goes out to Morse Chestnut. Now, Morse Chestnut has received his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. I think we can all agree that that is well deserved. He is in some of my favorite movies. Um, I think my my favorite movie of his is probably the best man and best man holidays i think those are my favorite movies of morris chestnut so congratulations to him but let's go ahead and hop back into this countdown because we are flying through this friday and i am here for it but let's get into this number three song here is doja cat featuring scissor kiss me more here on the mix at six here at lynchburg's number one station for hip-hop and r&b soul and reggae the mix 88.9 
And you're listening to the Mix of Sex with me, your host, Kal L. Creed. And we are here at Lynchburg's number one station for hip hop and RB, soul and reggae, the mix. 88.9, and that was our number three song, A Doja Cat featuring SZA with Kiss Me More. Now, I think I'm saying his name right, but Serenis, Serenis J. Jackson, he's on um, Insecure. He was one of the, the cast members of Insecure. He was on the Guys Next Door podcast, and he commented on uh, Trey Songs putting on a tough guy persona. Here's what he had to say. And like some of them, I mean, some of them be doing crazy but like I said, have some run-ins, and they do that thing where they're trying to sell this tough guy scene like this one, Trey, Trey Songs, try to piss women, you know what I'm saying? But then we'll turn down the fade when it came up to him for the fade, turn it down. I'm not cool with like that. If he wants to fight women and stuff like that, and to me, I can't operate like that. Bro, I, I can separate the man from the artist sometimes. Sometimes it starts getting too little too muddy for me, I'm like, ah, uh, I'm like, I do that. I'm like it's unfortunate that, when you like, bro, I really with this for years you know what yeah. I'm saying talented what's funny is this isn't the first time that I have heard something about Trey Songs being like that is that true has anybody else heard that about Trey Songs you know actually like putting his hands on women or acting tough in front of women and you know trying to put on his persona like I've heard that about him I can't I haven't met him I can't verify it I don't know if it's true But It's weird that this Will come out And he would say this When I just heard Something about that Not too long ago Like him Doing this And people say that It's a normal thing With him Like he tried to put on This act Especially when he's not Getting the attention He thinks he thinks He deserves Now this is all Speculation This is just what I heard This is not You know Verified or anything Like that But Has anybody else Heard that Cause that's bananas To me but anyway, he won't he won't five minutes with him, so you know, just we'll see what happens. Ain't nothing gonna happen, but we'll see what happens. Drake Drake has donated one million dollars to LeBron James' school. I promise that's the name of the school. Is I promise. And here's audio of Drake making you know telling LeBron about that decision. I've been trying to figure out what I could do for you know obviously like, this moment. So. I'm going to, uh, myself and Eddie from State, we're going to dedicate a uh, million dollars to the iPharma school, and I'm going to drop it off myself before the school is like, Whoa. So, wow. <laughs> We don't talk about the fact that LeBron James has a, has a school. We don't talk about that enough. But shout out to Drake. Shout out to LeBron. That is an awesome thing to do to donate. I hope one day I get in a position where I can make donations like that, where I can give back and help people as much as I can, because that really brings me joy. I'm I'm the type of person like when I buy Christmas gifts, I don't expect anything. I just like buying gifts and watching people open the gifts that I got them to see their excitement. That's what makes me happy and makes me me warm and fuzzy in my tum tum. I didn't work with my kids because they don't appreciate nothing. Um, they just open something and throw it to the side and want the next gift. Ungrateful crumb snatchers. Anyway, but I like doing it for adults who appreciate it because they don't. Get on my nerves. All of them. Get on my nerves. But yeah, one day, one day I'll get there where I can make donations like that and and help people out and be in a position to give because that's what it's about. It's supposed to help your fellow people and to donate to a school that's helping the youths. Uh, you know, gotta help the youth, the youths, the youths. Uh, however you want to say it, however you want to say it. So again, shout out to Drake, shout out to LeBron James. We talked about this. Uh, last week, I believe, uh, Wendy Williams, uh, her money has been frozen. Her money, her accounts have been frozen. She doesn't have access to her money, and now she is demanding her money from Wells Fargo. And here's the audio from her. Asking questions about my money. And when I began asking questions about my money, suddenly Lori Schiller has got no response regarding my money. I want my money, this is not fair. And Wells Fargo has no questions and answers with regarding my money. This is, this is not fair. And Lori Schiller and Wells Fargo have this guardianship petition about keeping me away from my money. This is not right. She also goes on to discuss her former manager. 
and this guy named Bernie Young, I know for a fact that Bernie Young used my American Express card to hire an attorney to file a petition against me. That was done with my American Express card. A former doctor had medical information about me that I never even got. It was sent over to Lori Schiller. I fired the doctor. And again, all I want to know is where is my money? This is not right. So I really hope things work out for her. That's that's kind of a mess up situation. It's not right, especially if she worked for that's her money. She worked for that money. I, I don't I don't know, you know, the ins and outs of all of that or the entertainment business and how money is divided up or how you have, don't have access to the money you work for. But I don't know. It just seems messed up to me. She she earned it. She she worked for it. She should be able to do what she want to do with it. It's her money. It's her money. I don't know how somebody else can say you can't have your money. I ain't got to worry about that. I'm not in that, that tax bracket yet where I have to make those decisions. Hopefully I'd never be. Hopefully I'm never in a mental state where people have to freeze my money and not give me my money that I work hard for. I work hard for a little bit of money I do got. I don't want nobody taking it. But anyway, let's hop back into this countdown and into this number two song, of course, because we are blazing through this Friday episode and I love it. Here is our number two song, Rod Wave with By Your Side, here on The Mix at Six, here at Lynchburg's number one station for hip hop and R&B, Soul and Reggae, The Mix, 88.9. You're listening to the Mix at Six here on Lynchburg's number one stage for hip hop and R&B, Soul and Reggae, the Mix, eighty-eight point nine, and that was our number two song, Rod Wave with By Your Side. And as a reminder, early bird tickets go off for sale April the fifth. Early bird tickets for what? You might be asking. Well, allow me to tell you. The second annual One Family Soul Food and Funk Festival Going down Saturday, July 16th Riverfront Park, Lynchburg, Virginia The lineup is Lakeside EU Melissa Morgan Sean Milley The Mix 88.9's own Jasmine Ray's band The Drive Special guest full force All headlined by Life Jennings Go to the mixradio.online to get your $25 early bird tickets now. You don't want to be left out of this one. You don't want to be the one that waits to the day of the show because the price goes up. The price goes up after April 5th. I keep trying to tell y'all, I don't know why y'all think that I'm, I don't know what I'm talking about, but the price goes up after April 5th. So get your early bird tickets. Get your early bird tickets, second annual One Family Soul Food and Funk Festival. Now, before we get into this number one song, let me take a second, as always, to thank some of our sponsors. Promotional consideration paid for by the following. And we are back at the Mix of Six. I am Kal L. Creed, and we are here at Lynchburg's number one station for hip hop and R&B, soul and reggae, The Mix, 88.9. And that was our number one song, Gunner and Future. Featuring Young Thug We're pushing P Does anybody know what that means? Because I don't I don't know what it means But I keep hearing it And I don't know what it means Maybe because I'm old Either way Anyway We've reached the end Thank you for hanging out with me Thank you for hanging out with me today And this week If you want to hang out with me some more Come to Bull Daddy tonight I'll be there I will be there And I will be up for meeting the people It's going to be a good night But if you want to help us spread the word That will be appreciated Let people know to download the app Go to their Google Play, Apple App Store Search the Mix 88.9 Let them know that I am here Monday through Friday 6pm to 7pm And starting Monday 6pm to 10pm Monday through Friday Yes, I have a new block Coming up on Monday That starts Monday I'm excited. I can't wait to show y'all my mixes. You can follow us on social media also. Facebook and Instagram, The Mix 88.9, and on Twitter, The Mix 8991. If you want to follow me, you are more than welcome to do so. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, Discord, all of the things. 
all under one name, Kalel Creed D B. That's K A L E L C R E E D D B. If you miss any part of this show or you want to listen to it again or catch up on past episodes, I got you covered. Don't even worry about it. Go over to YouTube. Search the Fortress of Awesome Tude. That's A W E S O M E T U D E. Go to my playlist. Look for Vibe Club because it's Vibe Club for what? That's right. Vibe Club for life. Y'all stay tuned for the club party mix coming up after me at 7 o'clock. Also, this episode goes live over on Facebook and on YouTube at 7 o'clock. So if you want to replay, that's where you go over to catch it. It goes live starting at 7. But if you stay here, the club party mix is getting you ready because at 9 o'clock we go live. We go live for Let's Grow Fridays at Bull Daddy's Restaurant and Bar. Make sure you tune in to check us out if you do not come through. But that's it. I'm done. I'm done for the day. Y'all have a fabulous weekend. Remember, have a plan. Be safe. I will see y'all back here on Monday for the Mix at 6. I am your humble host, kal Creed. Thank y'all for hanging out with me. As always, y'all have no idea how much I appreciate it. And I will see y'all again on Monday. And we are here at Lynchburg's number one station for hip-hop and R&B, soul and reggae. The Mix 88.9